Hi, so in this video, I'm, I'm going to talk about um, why you can't edit the um, master tab on the new planner. So I put in the name next year's planner up here. So you, you realize that this is next year's planner. And I also have um, made some color changes as well. So this is um, the current year planner. So it has got a, like a different color theme. So when you're actually working on a new planner, you can actually officially see, yeah, this is next year's just by looking at the color. Yes, so let's get back to the topic of this video. Why I can't edit the master tab. Okay, now the reason is uh, my philosophy for doing work is little input massive output so why do you need to do admin twice because if you actually um have done the admin on this spreadsheet you don't need to really do much um admin on this in um, next year's because if you change somebody's um, contractual hours here this one will automatically pick it up. Okay, um, last year's I've done the same con concept, but however, people keep typing into um, the spreadsheet. So let me just change this to a um, 21. And when it does that, it actually stopped uh, the master tab from reading last year's. So, and then they would just um, have it all rather untidy if you actually want to change um, non shop floor one um, rotor okay let's just put it here so this is the original so i will just put in new start for you to have a look so when you do that this will actually pick it up see so therefore you don't actually um need to do contractual change on here and then go on here and then do the same you do you just do it on one location now let's just say um, non shop floor two have are no longer uh, working for the company so i've deleted the name you can do this so what happened on here on here um it will say the name is missing because it can no longer find the name on here. So what you do, you can just go ahead and delete the name. You can actually edit this part, you see. So you can actually just go copy. Notice I've copied uh, one extra cell here. Copy, control C, control V. And if I'm to do that, these will move up one to fill in the gap. Yeah. Um, now let's just say you have add in a new person so let's just um, call this person merchandiser 2 so I'm going to copy um, a, a demo um, uh, rotor and I'm going to call this person merchandiser 2 okay so uh, if you actually go on here all you need to do is to type in um, the name. Okay, it just needs some time to uh, look up and re uh, co collaborate with um, last year's. So let me just try again. There you go. And when you do this, um, the formula in this location will um, populate the whole line. And that is the reason why I have uh, protected all of these. You see here. Yeah, so this is the reason why I've protected um, this page. Yeah, so let's just say if somebody actually are using, uh, are actually having a new contract um, for next year. So let's just say this person and this person they agree to do Sunday 
in the new contract like this, but it will only start next year. So you can't have two identical names. So you can put in like this. Now this will make, make it unique. Okay. So you go back here and you start to type in the 2019. Hold on. I will let it, um, update or refresh. There you go. Oh no. Merge. It wasn't too bad. It's like one, one or two minutes to do that. Yeah. So, um, next year, this person is going to have a new Sunday and this contract will no longer be, uh, we, we no longer use it. So you can delete it or you can just copy this name and move it along here. Yeah. So all you can actually use, um, is row one. That's all you can influence. Everything else is locked. If you need more roles, tell me, and then I can input it for you. But I'm thinking um, every few um, every few names, I'm going to put in some blank. So if you have um, new partners working for you, you can actually do some maneuvering. I think the new partners that will be the Christmas temps. Um, you you will be employing. I expect that, you know, there's more people leaving than joining, really. Yeah, so that's what I will do for you. So um, thank you very much. Goodbye.